sa edukasyong hatid sa bawat tahanan walang iwanan because we learn as one Hi Teacher Mitch! Hi Ate Ryan Kuya Al! Come, I'll show you something. What is it Teacher Mitch? I am looking at different places around the world. Wow, they are so beautiful! I agree Ate Rai. We'll have to watch it later. Let's greet our friends watching us first. Hello everyone! Welcome to We Learn As One, My TV School! My name is Teacher Mitch and I'm here with my friends Aterai and Kuya Al. Hello, Hello everyone! Today, we will read a story in which exciting things happen to interesting characters. Children, Atera and Kuya Al, it's time for... Story, Story Corner! We have a lot to do as we get ready for more reading. Before we begin, I have a question for you. If you could travel far from home, what would you want to see? I want to see giant caves! That sounds exciting! What about you, Aterai? I've heard about waterfalls in other parts of the world. I would like to see them. That sounds wonderful, Aterai. Both Kuya Al and Aterai have named some things they'd like to leave home to see. What about you? Those are good ideas. The world is a big place and many of you want to travel far from home to see it. We will talk more about your ideas as we read. But first, let's take a look at words we will see in the story. Children, our first word is world. W O R L D. World. Now, all of you, spell and read the word with me. W-O-R-L-D World Our world stretches far beyond our beautiful islands. It includes all the oceans, all the plants, and animal life. Everything! This map shows all the oceans and lands where other people live. This is where we live. Who would not want to live in this wonderful world? Children, our next word is want. Let's spell and read it together. W-A-N-T Want To want means to hope for something. What do you want? I want to go to the city. I want to play SIPA with my friends. And what do all of you want children? I want you to keep watching and learning with us. At the end of our episode today, you will know the reasons why. Our next word is... Why? Children, Aterai and Kuya Al, let's spell it and read it together. W H Y Why? Why is an important question word. We use it when we want to know the reason or cause for something. Like, why are we here? Children, Aterai and Kuya Al, our next word is here. Let's spell and read it together. H-E-R-E -E. Here Here is where we are right now. In this room at our school. 
we are here in this classroom. And this classroom is nice. Aterai, Kuya Al, children. Our next word is nice. Let's spell and read the word together. N I C E. -E. Nice. Things that are nice are good or pleasant. They please us or make us happy. My garden at home is nice. What do you think is nice? My bedroom is nice. I have a soft chair to sit in while I read. The music my sister plays on her flute is nice. She plays at night as I fall asleep. Good job, Ate Ryan Kuya Al. What do you think is nice? I heard someone say that their grandmother's soup is nice. Others say that the fountain in the middle of our town square is nice. The word nice can be used to tell about many things that are good or pleasing to us. All the words that we have spelled and read are important for our reading our next story. Let's practice reading them one more time. World Want Why Here Nice Now, we will read another set of words that are important because they tell about direction or place. These words are called prepositions. For example, over. Now read the word with me. Over. I am holding a book over my head. Children, Atenai and Kuya Al, the next word is under. Now read the word with me. Under. My book is under my chair. Here is another word you'll see in today's story. This word is through. Now read the word with me. Through. I know that word, Teacher Mitch. If we open the window, bugs or even a bird might fly through it to get from outside to the inside of our classroom. Good job, Ate Rai. Now here's one more preposition, everyone. This word is across. Now read the word with me. Across. I know that word. I walk across the room by going from one side to the other. Exactly, Kuya Al. You will read these prepositions in today's story. Over, under, through, across. Let's read them one more time for practice. Over, Over. under, through, through. Across. across. Good work, children. We're ready to read now. Teacher Mitch, can we read the story outside our classroom? Sure we can! Reading can happen just about anywhere. Come on! I know a place where we can read our story. Let's go! Wow, Teacher Mitch! Does this place have something to do with our story today? Maybe it does, Kuya Al! We will know when we read the story. Have a seat. This is the story we will read. It's called The End of the World. This story was written by an author from the Education Development Center. And the pictures were drawn by Ryan Bordadora. What do you see in the picture? It's a chicken and a snake. But it's a male chicken called the rooster. 
I can tell from the top of its head. See the comb? Very good, Ate Rai. What does the picture tell you we might read about? Maybe we will read about the rooster and the snake talking to each other. The snake's mouth is open like it's talking. Maybe, but this picture doesn't show us much. We should keep looking through the story. Great idea, Ate Rai! Let's take a quick look at all the pages to see what the story is about. What did you notice on the pages of the story? The rooster is in different places with different animals. It looks like this story is about the rooster traveling and meeting the animals and talking to them. Yes, but I wonder about the title of the story. Can anyone think of why this story is called The End of the World? You have a lot of interesting ideas! Some of you think the animals are talking about the end of the world. But I have another question. Do you think this story is real or made up? Give me a thumbs up for real! And a thumbs down for made up. Did you do a thumbs down for made up? Good job, children! I think when we read, we'll see that most of you are correct. The story is made up because animals don't talk like humans do. Although, that is what the pictures seem to show them doing. Now, let's read to check our predictions. We can also think about what the author means by the title. Ready, everyone? The End of the World Story by Education Development Center Illustrations by Ryan Bordadora Rooster says, I want to see the end of the world. Hen says, Why? I like it here. It is nice here in the yard. Rooster says, I want to see the other side of the fence. Hen says, Go over the fence and see. Rooster says, I want to see the other side of the forest. Goat says, Go through the forest and see. Rooster says, I want to see the other side of the mountain. Monkey says, Go over the mountain and see. Rooster says, I want to see the other side of the river. Fish says, Go across the river and see. Rooster begins by saying he wants to see the end of the world. Then he wants to see the other side of the fence, the forest, the mountain, and the river. Do you think there is anything else he will want to see as we keep reading? Yes, teacher Mitch. He's trying to see all that he can see until he gets to the end of the world. That makes sense, Aterai. Kuya Al, what else might you want to see? One of the pictures showed a city. I think he'll want to see the other side of a city. What do you think, children? Are Aterai and Kuya Al correct? Let's keep reading to find out! 
Brewster says, I want to see the other side of the plains. Snake says, Go across the plains and see. Rooster says, I want to see the other side of the jungle. Eagle says, Go under the trees and see. Rooster says, I want to see the other side of the city. Elephant says, Go to the city and see. Rooster says, I see my fence. He jumps over the fence. Rooster says, I like it here. Hen says, I like it here too. It is nice here in the yard. That is the end of the story. Think about our predictions. Were they correct? Kuya Al and Ate Rai mentioned that they thought the rooster would go to different places and talk to other animals. They were correct! And we know that animals don't talk, so we know that this story is made up. Who was the first animal the rooster talked to? Hen! What did they talk about? Rooster told Hen he wanted to see the end of the world, but Hen said she liked the yard. That's right! What happened next? Rooster told Hen he wanted to see the other side of the fence and she told him to go over it. Right again, Atirai. How does the rest of the story go, Kuya Al? Rooster met other animals and told them what he wanted to see. Each animal told him where to go. Children, what were the names of the other animals? Good job, children! Rooster met goat, monkey, fish, snake, eagle, and elephant. Each told him where to go when he told them what he wanted to see. Did the rooster see all the things he wanted to see? I don't think so. The author didn't tell us. You may be right, Kuya Al. Sometimes authors write stories to get us to think a certain way. The title, The End of the World, makes us think about Rooster going a long, long way from home. And maybe he thought he was at the end of the world. But at the end of the story, where was he? Right back where he started. At home in the yard with Hen. And how did he feel about being back in the yard? He liked the yard after he went away and saw other places. I think he must have made a happy sound like this. What might the author want you to understand about leaving home? I think he wants to tell us we can go to other places, but home is nice too. Very good, both of you. And at Erai, you used one of the story words. Nice! That was an interesting story, and we will read it again another time. Now, Kuya Al at Erai, let's stand up and let's go back to our classroom.
Let's take a closer look at this word from the story. Listen and count as I say the sounds in the word. Then read the word. L, I, K, like. L, I, K. Teacher Mitch, you didn't say the sound for the last letter. Yes, you missed one. Not really. In this word, and many others like it, the letter E does not make a sound. It appears at the end and is silent or without sound. That is why you heard only three sounds, though there are four letters. Now, listen again as I say the sounds. L, I, K. What sound did I say for the letter I? I. That's correct. In English, the vowel stand for different sounds. Sometimes, the vowels stand for their names. Look at the letters in the word. The word ends in a vowel, a consonant, and an E. In words that end in vowel consonant E, the letters A, E, I, O, and U sound like their names. A, E, I, O, U. Now, when I say each letter, say the sound with me. Remember, the sound is the same as the name of the letter. A, E, I, O, U. Now, let's say the sounds and read this word from the story. I see the letter pattern I, consonant E. The letter I says its name. S, I, D, side. Good job! Let's read this word. I see the letter pattern A, consonant E. The A says its name. Mm. A, D, made. You did it! Here's the next word. Look at the letter pattern. What sound does O make? Yes, the letter O says its name. Sound out the word with me. <sighs> o, M, home. Here's another word. Look at the letter pattern. The word ends in U, consonant E. The U says its name. Sound out the word with me. M, U, L, Mule. Great! Now, read this word. P, E, T, Pete. Good work, everyone! As you keep reading, you will often see words like this. When you do, you'll know how to say the sounds and read them. If you have trouble, just think about the vowel consonant E letter pattern and keep trying because here at my TV school... Today, you've read a story that makes us think about things that we believe are nice, especially how nice home can be when we leave and come back. You learn to spell and read some words and say some words that you will see a lot. And you now know what prepositions are. That's a lot of learning! Now, our time is done for today. 
Do not worry, I will leave you with fun things to do until we see each other again next time. Use what you've learned today to reread The End of the World at Home. Then, listen for prepositions as you talk with your family and friends. Make a list of the prepositions you hear. It was nice having you with us today. And I look forward to reading and learning with you when we get together again. Goodbye for now!